Hello YouTube, Ken Howe here with another Black Desert Online video and today I'm going to be going over the Guardian Awakening skills as you might know her Awakening kit came out a couple of weeks ago and I've had a chance to play around with it for a little bit now and I want to share my thoughts and my, my opinion on the current state of the Guardian and go over her skills and talk about other things that I might find interesting and at the end I'll attach a video footage of a grinding session that I did at Mansion Forest a little while ago, I grinded it for an hour and I did a very wide rotation that I thought would be good but I had to start finding extra mobs to kill because I was over clearing it but uh, yeah, so if you want to see what the grinding is like with the Guardian or in awakening form check out the end of the video with that footage but now let's take a look at her skills, let's get the video started so she's very self-sufficient in awakening, I haven't really felt the, ch uh, the need to go back to pre-awakening at, uh, at any time if i do is by accident sometimes i still do the right click and and left and right and that puts you back into pre-awakening like this i still have that muscle memory in my hands so sometimes i want to get out of harm's way and instead of doing her awakening dodge which is shift and left and right instead of doing this sometimes i do this and I go back into pre-awakening but other than that I don't really go back into pre-awakening for anything all right so let's take a look at the skills here so switch to awakening form here so I have pretty much all the skills except for the grab and the right click here the grab is not very useful for PvE right single target skill pretty much and I'm not big into PvP yeah, I am trying to get into PvP I've, I've done a couple of node wars with my guild and I want to try to participate as much as I can now so I can get into it both, both because I you know it's part of the game and I want to enjoy it and also because a lot of you guys are asking for PvP footage and I want to be able to show some of it. Let's go over the skills I do have. The Awakening buff is really good because she gets 10 seconds of super armor when she uses the buff. And then she gets also 20 AP, she gets uh, plus 50% crit chance, which unfortunately for the most part is useless. Just like the pre-Awakening was because her buff still applies, her passive buff of 50% crit still applies. So... Uh, I, would, I would rather have seen this change into something more useful, but that's what we got. And then we got uh, accuracy plus 15, and then we get uh, movement speed plus 30%, and then we have uh, critical damage 20%. That's pretty good. And then at the bottom, they had the super armor, 10 seconds of super armor. Everything else is 30 seconds, but the super armor is only 10 seconds. Uh, I don't know if I can say only, because 10 seconds of super armor with any skills is pretty good. 3 minutes cooldown though, so you know, keep that in mind. The super armor is pretty handy because uh, she lost a lot of protection that she had on the pre-awakening when she got her awakening kit. Then you have the grab here. So the grab puts a debuff, 10 seconds of uh, minus 15 DP on the enemy and you got super armor while you're doing the grab. Pretty good, of course it's a knockdown. Uh, damage is not very high but it's also not very important. Then you have the dodge here, pretty good. A little iframe. Uh, I wish the cooldown was 2 seconds. 3 seconds feels like a lot sometimes when you're uh, on a slow moving class like this. Then you have the auto attacks, nothing to talk about here. Then you get to the first real skill here. Let's let me scroll down. Now this is a one skill that I use that I use sometimes just for the buff. This skill is a three hitter. It's back and left mouse, left click. All hits are for 328%. First hit hits three times, second hit also hits three times, and third hit hits five times. It's an unprotected skill, not very good. Now the one reason I use this skill is because it gives you a attack speed buff of 20%. So it's a pretty good skill to to start a combo with. Now let me show you here. If you just go and put in like this, you can see she gets 10 seconds of 20% attack speed, which you know, for a slow attacking class that can be pretty handy. I max it out so I can get 20% of uh, the attack speed you know you get five uh, you get 10 percent and then 10 again and then 15 and then 20 at max level uh this one i didn't really take this is back and right click it's also unprotected just like the first one also hits three times a little less damage 564 564 and 451 and times three three and two uh only 20 percent crit chance and it puts a dot on enemies and it's a float not very useful and it's pretty slow too. Uh, let me show you what the first what the back and left click skills looks like. This is it. You got a kick and then back and right click. Is this like this? Okay, so the third hit is a fire. This is a fire. So it's one, two, and then the, the third damage this shows there is a fire. So it only hits two times, but you actually get a fire 
Uh, and then you put the dot. Not a lot of very useful skill, in my opinion. So that's why I didn't max it out. Eventually I might, if I feel like uh, it's, it's worth it. If I find another combo to use. It might, there might be some can some skill cancel that you can do with it. I haven't found any use for it though. Then you have the next skill here. This is your shift and F. Very good skill. I use it all the time. Super armor. This is one of the few skills that you have protection. And this gives you a 18% accuracy buff and AP plus 20 buff. Both for 10 seconds and the skills on a 6 second cooldown. So you can keep it up a lot of times. Decent damage too, 8 times, 1783%. It has originally a 16% accuracy, and this also gives you an additional 18% buff. And like I said, super armor, and it's also a float, and down smash, and air smash. And this is one of the skills I definitely recommend you pick. Very good for all those buffs. And then moving on here to the right, we have a shift and right click. It's a two-part originally, and then you get a flow that we talk about in a second here. Pretty good skill, that's pretty good damage, the 1000% times 4, and then the fire, there's a fire on the ground there, that does 2 times 682%, and then you see there, uh, the second hit, another 8 times 1049%, 50% crit chance, 9% accuracy, and it puts a dot for 20, no sorry, for 9 seconds, 3 hits of 20 damage on the target, and it's a bound, and a down smash. So that skill looks like this, shift and right click, boom, and boom. And that's what it is. And uh, let, let, while I'm talking about it, let me show you the flow. Let's go with the flow here. The flow is uh, this thing. is like uh, an explosion. A second explosion. You stick your, your thing on the ground. It's another 8 times. 1039. 100% crit. 3% accuracy. And this one is super armor. And also a bound. So if you want to do the three, the 3 skills, the 3 hits together. It looks like this. 1, 2 and boom the third hit kind of locks you in place a little bit uh, luckily you have a super armor to go with it but if i show you here let's see one two three and i cannot move until now now i can move so you're a little stuck in place there it's unfortunate so it's, it's a very damaging skill and you do get super armor but you're stuck in the little position there for a little bit the first two attacks do not have super armor though so be careful you can be interrupted just a slam in the ground which luckily has super armor, right? Because you're going to be stuck in the animation there for a little bit. Then moving on to the next skill here. We have this one, which is a the shift Q. 14 times, 909%, and 50% crit chance. 14 accuracy, 14% accuracy. And it gives the enemies a 20 DP debuff for 10 seconds. And this is also a heal. You heal you for 50 HP for every enemy that hits. Uh, you get super armor, which is excellent because it is a pretty slow skill. And it is a bound in PvE only. This one is a bound in PvE and PvP. And it's a down smash. And it's a down smash. And this one is a bound in all PvE and PvP. But this one is only a bound in PvE. Keep that in mind. Shift Q looks like this. Right? So there you go. You, you hold your Q, Shift Q. And that's what it is. Uh, then this is the charge. Unfortunately, this charge is not like the pre awakening charge where it can, if you use it after another skill, you don't need to charge. This one, regardless of how you use it, as far as I've seen, you have to charge. We get a frontal guard, which is pretty good. And this is a shift and, and shift and left click. So the way this skill works is it has three charges, three bars that they charge up. And each time you charge a bar, you get two times 1,040% the damage. So if you, char if you charge the three full three bars, you get eight times 1,040%. 100% crit and 14 accuracy a 10 seconds armor debuff on the enemy minus 20 dp for 10 seconds and the frontal guard ends a knockdown so let me show you the flow in this skill so you charge and it has a second attack with the same damage pretty good so if you go like this one two three and then you boom and then you hold, you hold right click and you do the second hit right? and then if you, you can continue the combo with the shift and right click which is what i accidentally did there the third hit was not part of the combo. So that's all the main skills. We looked at a couple of flows. This one, I used this skill for a little bit when it first came out. And then I got a, a, a when I did my respec, I unselected it because I wasn't really using it. It's not very good. There's no protection. The damage is pretty meh and it doesn't do much. So knockback and, and, and it's, it's a stun and knockback. So if you, want a, if you want an additional CC, it might be useful in PvP. Uh, but for PvE, it's not really useful. We looked at this one. This one is the flow for this one. Now this is the charge. You need to get your pre-awakening charge to to level three before you can get this charge same thing for the grab too if you want to get this grab you need to get 
your pre-awakening grab to use it and actually this this is one of the few skills that i know that brings you back from pre-awakening to awakening so if you do shift and f which is your charge you switch automatically back to your awakening weapon the other attack here we have is, a, is your f which is a very quick stab which is a stun and it's a four times 1053 damage it's, a, it's not very good for damaging enemies but it is a good skill to cancel out of things and uh, i'll show you some of the examples here when we start using the combos and, and putting everything together and then we have this awesome skill here which is a slide with a slash and this is one of the coolest skills she has cooler looking skills if you hold the right click she will do something really cool which i'll show you in a second and does an okay damage the first hit does four times 810 percent then you get some more damage there you can see three times 722 percent that's when uh, the second part of the skill which you'll see in a second here and then you get it's 100 crit and super armor and in the second part is, while she's sliding she gets super armor and the second part of the skill she gets uh iframe and of course it's a float as you can see here let me show you what, it, what it, how it goes all right so you hold her clicking forward and you hit them and then it, you mash her you bounce around like that so originally this skill had a big uh problem at the end when you landed a teleport you were stuck in the animation for a while but they changed that so the skill is much much better now all right so we're almost finished the skills here this one is a space bar so just like the pre-awakening space bar you can we'll use it pretty much after most skills the difference here is that this skill has a cooldown so you can you can't really spam like the space bar from pre-awakening so if i hit this and hit space bar it does this little vacuum thing as right, so you can see on the animation down there it will pull the enemies and turn them around if you do the space bar and then it pulls them turns them around and then it knocks them down so pretty good for back attacks and down attacks and then you got four times four times 1211 percent damage 50 percent crit five percent accuracy it gives you a 20 ap buff for 10 seconds which is great because the skill has four seconds of cooldown and you can keep the buff up at all times all right and then uh lots of things that happen only all those all those ccs are only pve unfortunately so if you're looking for pvp action this is not going to help you uh and i put some more buffs in this skill because i use it all the time giving my 10 10 more dp and then four percent attack speed and then we have the mo one of the most popular ones which is, the, which is the phoenix which you go up and you glide and then you smash down pretty disappointing skill it doesn't do much the damage is only five times 1200 percent and there's iframe while you're moving and super armor when you land and there's a knockdown only in pve and it's a down smash and pve and pvp so it's just good to get around but as, it, let me, as you can see here if you use a back and f it's a slow start so your for mobility is only good if you use it with the animation cancel that i'm going to show you there's actually two animation cancels you can do to get this skill to to go off immediately there might be more if i find more i will let you know when i make the awakening guide video which will be coming out the same week when the guardian awakening comes out outside of korea so stay tuned for that one so if you do the charge so f let me go over here if you do front f the charge then you can do the phoenix and it comes out immediately there's no wait there's no delay there that's one way you can cancel it so it extends your mobility for quite a bit but the problem with that is that the skill has a very long cooldown as you can see the cooldown is still churning over here the wheels are still turning it's a 18 second cooldown that's way too long of a cooldown for a skill that does not do much i don't know why why they decided to give this much cooldown to put this much cooldown on this skill i really only use it for the mobility and you see that I, if you look at the footage at the end the mansion forest footage you'll see that i use it to get from pack to pack there were some some packs that were quite far away from each other so i use that for the for the mobility aspect but again only if you use it after the the dash or if you use after the space bar skill so if you which is a kind of a problem because unless you're already in combat it's not gonna be worth the, the hassle but if you're fighting something about to kill it you do space bar this and then you can jump right in with the phoenix dive too and then we got the last skill here which is we already talked about which is the flow or the shift and left click skill the charge attack like this one here i'll show you again 
one, two, three, four. This is the normal, and the flow is the right click. If you hold right click, like this. So yeah, that's all the skills for Guardian. And my recommendations that you can see here is pretty much max out everything except for the back and right click. I didn't take that one and don't get the right click skill. I want to say this might be useful for PvP, but it doesn't have any protection. So good luck getting that in unless you're using her awakening buff for that uh, 10 seconds of super armor with any skill. Are these, are these statues or do they aggro you? Nope, oh, they aggro. Only two? Nope, three. Can I can I tank three of these? We're about to find out. That looks like a wizard. I'm not too sure about this. Let's let's get buff. Let's buff up here. Show you the awakening buff and the black spirit buff. Let's see if we're gonna get killed. Oh, not a better, not a good idea. Don't do this. Don't try this at home, kids. Took some damage there, but I can heal it back up with the. The shift Q, no problemo. We knocked down. That's never a good. That's a, that's one of the ways you can die. If you get knocked down, that's one good way for you to get destroyed. It's pretty much the only way you're gonna get killed. Oh, look at that! That was pretty easy. Finish the battle. Oh, not uh, not yet. <laughs> Spoke too soon. But I'm about to finish the battle here with full health. As, as you can see, the all the pre-awakening buffs still works. Alright, so I think that's it for now for the overview. Let me know if you have any questions about the Guardian class. Let me know if you want to see anything else with her. And then uh, in a week or so, stay tuned for the Guardian Awakening guide uh, right before it comes out for you guys outside of Korea. Alright, I'll leave you now with the footage of the Munchum grinding. I'm not going to be talking over it, just like to watch the gameplay and uh, don't forget if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to see more video content from me don't forget to subscribe for now like i said i'm going to be leaving you the footage of mansion forest grinding so you can see what this girl looks like in action with her awakening all right uh i'll see you guys on the next one take care